Hello everybody, this is All Souls Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami. In the previous episode, we took on Joe Amon of the Amon Clan and had some trouble dealing with him. And then, we started the finale, making our way to Millennium Tower to meet with Yumi, only to have our moment interrupted by a jackass with one of the worst villain laughs I've ever heard. Jackass, whom we are going to proceed to beat the hell out of. Now, he is backed up by two MIA colonels armed with guns. We may as well start by taking them out, and we have lost our... Anyways, we've lost our gun, and unfortunately there's no chance of us being able to pick it up from them. And of course, Jingu's gonna be a little bitch, hanging back and uh, letting his flunkies do all the work. Well, he just, well, is going to be annoying. Only daring to strike out at us if we get close. But of course, they barely do any damage to us. Yeah, that's the thing about the Yakuza games. The Amon fights are always going to be way more challenging to the point at which the bosses just ain't. They just mean nothing. The only thing really damaging about these guys is the grenades. And the guns, of course, because they always knock you down no matter what. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to have some ability. Yeah, you are calm, you feel no pain, even if hit by a boulder blade, a state that was awakened. By coming in contact with Majima's madness. Back to active wall calm, well, I am certainly calm. And of course, we can't take the Colonel's guns. Screw this. Yeah, but that'll take me out of critical state. Okay, colonels are down. For now. Yep. They get back up. Again. But this time they've lost their guns and have gone with knives instead, so they no longer have ranged capabilities. Actually, I want to keep the bat out. Should I have used that on the colonel to take them out of the fight? Yes, but Jingu deserves it. I healed. Yeah. 
Okay, once you've taken them down a second time, they're not getting back up. Nope. I mean, I'm pretty sure you are already coming out of your animation, but I'm just going to take that all away from you now. Eat it up all you want. You're still going down. Assuming I could, you know, actually hit you. Down he goes. Okay. Yeah. Fight's more annoying than actually difficult. Take his gun, Kiryu. Take his gun. Of course not. ヤマ君。終わったか。これでようやく落ち着けるな。錦。なんだそりゃ。爆弾か<笑> お前、まだ諦めていないのか当たり前だ。俺はどんな犠牲を払っても登場会の後目になる。なあ、錦。それは無理だ。お前神宮に踊らされていたんだ。神宮の本当の目的はな。なことは分かってる。分かってたんだよ
決着をつけよう俺たちの戦いに Come down to this, brother against brother. Time to settle this all once and for all. One of the only people in the entire game we can actually use our Essence of Extreme Dragon. Well, plenty of stuff in here to use against him. If he would stop blocking everything. Sorry, man. Can't let you do that. I was kind of hoping that would actually finish him off with that one. Would have been poetic, dramatic, and we just maxed out our XP.
ユミこれはごめんね私あなたのことずっと忘れられなかったの記憶を取り戻した後もこうしてあなたのことを私弱い女だった記憶を失ってからも本当はあなたのことだけはうっすらと覚えていたの名前は思い出せないでもあなたの笑顔や仕草が浮かんでいたでも誰だかわからない全てを思い出せないそんなあなたのことを待ち続けることができなかっただから神宮のことをでもねはるかは何もかも失った私にとってたった一つの宝物だっただからはるかとお別れに行った時思わずこのペンダントをあげてしまったの私の一番大切なものを持っていてほしかったからはるか私のせいで怖い思いさせてごめんねカズマ私私まだやらなきゃいけないことがあるの I'd have expected another a 10 billion yen to be. Yumi. A lot more. <laughs> What I tell ya? Take the damn gun from him. No way in hell the paper would have survived an explosion like that.
ユミユミしっかりしろお母さんごめんねハルカやっとお母さんって言ってもらえたのにユミ10年前いやそれよりずっと前から言えなくてすまなかった好きだったお前のことがカ,カズマこれこれあなたが持っていてくれたのシンジがシンジのやつが死ぬ前に錦から奪い返したんだよかったまた帰ってきたあなたが私にくれたたった一つのプレゼントだもんねあ,ありがとうねあ,あ私結局すべてから逃げてたのかもしれないあなたからも錦山くんからもでもね私後悔はないのあなたを忘れないためにまた記憶がなくなってしまっても思い出せるようにってこ,この入れ墨を入れたの月下美人一夜でもいい一目でもいいからもう一回カズマに会いたかった。その夢が叶ったの<笑>お母さんはるかいいはるかはどんなことがあっても逃げちゃダメ逃げたら私みたいに幸せ逃がしちゃうからいい逃げちゃダメで話すお前ら銃を下げろ桐生お前は悪くねえだがこの山で逮捕されたらもうシャバに出れん俺についてこいもういいんだ伊達さん由美も錦も風間のおやさんももうみんないないだから人思いに逮捕してくれふざけるなお前の戦いはまだ終わってねえはずだかけがえのねえものを守り続けろ逃げるんじゃねえかけがえのない前が無所に行けばこの子はまた一人だお前それでもいいのか伊達さん来やがったなおいキリュウこっちだじゃあお前らしっかりやれよ行くぜ頼む
ちゃんと終わったのかよ襲名式と引退式はああ義理は果たしたつもりだしかし聞いたことねえよな組長の襲名披露と引退式が同時なんてよで五代目は誰にしたんだ<笑>まあ世良会長やおやつさんに恥ずかしくねえやつにしたよ、うん、誰なんだまあ意外なやつだよおい元会長つけられてるぞえもしかしてあいつが5代目なのかああ奴ならきっちり登場会を立て直す You sure about that? Cause you barely know the guy Yeah, whatever Your choice じゃあ行くぜああもう戻ってこないのかさあなまた伊達さんから呼ばれることがあれば来るかもしれないぜそうかだが残念ながらそれはないと思うぜ俺はしばらくさやと暮らしてみるよ今までになかった家庭ってのを楽しんでみるさおうじゃあなおさら俺がいない方がいいなああもう胃が痛い毎日とはおさらばだよじゃあなもう警察の世話になんじゃねえぞ大丈夫だあいつと一緒なんだからなそうだなああI might have to edit this out in recording, but anyways, yeah, that was Yakuza Kiwami. I'd say it was a damn good remake of the original, adding in some new things like the Majima Everywhere system. I will admit some bits of it, like having to hunt down specific Majimas, was annoying. Oh boy. And random encounters throughout the game just got really annoying really fast. Like, as I've said before, early game, the uh, they're kind of necessary to get some XP points but and some cash, but very quickly, especially if you go after all of the uh, locker keys, you're not going to need them for cash or XP because fighting Majima is so much better. Uh... I suppose if you grind out CP by playing the various minigames around, you could very quickly get the Beads of Good Fortune. But then you're going to have to unequip them in order to get Majima hunting you down. So, eh. Eh, beyond that... Hmm. Not really sure what else to say. Fighting is fun, at times. Gets rather funny when you get the, uh... Get the tiger drop, if you can pull it off successfully against groups of enemies. Uh, hmm. Music was good. Yeah, it's like, it's like I have all this stuff to say, but I don't know how to put it to words. Uh, I kinda, I got why they kept putting uh, main story objectives on, on basically opposite ends of the, uh, of the, uh, of the story map, because otherwise what's the point in having the open world if you're not going to be exploring it, but good lord, when I've already taken care of all the sub-stories and have nothing in between, it's just running around at that point. Uh, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Got nothing else. I'm not going to go straight into Kiwami 2. I actually have another series plan to take over the uh, secondary slots. Just not sure if I'm going to go straight into audio testing for that one yet. But we'll find out. Uh, anything else? No, not really. In that case, I'll see you at the end of the credits for the post-credits scene.
すまないまたしまったなうんこの子と遊んでたからもう行かなくちゃ元気でね連れてくかうん、うん、ここにいればこの子はお母さんと会えるかもしれないからあお母さん<笑>ごめんねゆうちゃん遅くなっちゃったねえねえお母さんうんサンタさん、今年も来てくれるかなそうねゆうちゃんがいい子にしてたらきっと来てくれるわじゃあ私いい子にする毎晩お母さんの肩叩いてあげるからあらほんと嬉しいわそれじゃ早くお家に帰ってサンタさんを迎える準備しないとねおじさんおじさんは何歳までサンタさん信じてたえいやいくつだっけな信じてたんだ悪かったな And with that we have come to an end to Yakuza Kiwami A game that even if I can't really put it into words I genuinely enjoy but, like I said, it's going to be quite a while before we get back to the Yakuza series. Current difficulty, normal, playtime, 37 hours, I'm guessing because there's no way that's 37 minutes, and 31 minutes, 107 street battles, Majima everywhere, triple S. Completion, only 64.06%, .06%, but the rest of that is, like, stuff that I am not interested in doing and contributes very little to this. Legend difficulty has been unlocked. Alright, well, with that, if you guys have enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw link to vote for our next Let's Play. And I'll see you guys in our next series. Thanks for watching.